Hey guys, it's Bex, and I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be doing another part of my summer series, and this one is just going to be a really pretty, easy, going out during the day, maybe during the night, in the summertime, just a neutral look with a little bit of pop of color, but of course, looking like a bronze goddess still. So, if that kind of look interests you, well, stick around. Let's get right into it. So I know something I haven't done on here is skincare. I've not showed you guys my routine, so I'm gonna do just a, a little basic of what I've been doing during the daytime here that it is now over 100 degrees in Vegas. So I wash my face with my Hex Beauty cleanser and now we're gonna go in with the Hex Beauty. This is the Quartz Soothing Toner. And sometimes this squirts me in the face, so there we go. So I like to just press it in the skin. It smells great and I absolutely love this toner. As you can see, you get quite a bit and I've been really loving this, especially in the summer. It just makes me feel hydrated and not like, not what I outside feels like because it is 100 degrees in Vegas. So my next step is a product that I've been loving from Course RX. This is the Six Peptide Skin Booster. It has hyaluronic acid, NAG, and amino acids. So I like to just push it in, move it around a little bit, and get it all over my face. All right, now we're gonna go in with our Super Bloom. This is the Bright Eyes Peptide Cream. And I love how nice and thick this bad boy is. Definitely want to hydrate that under eye, especially, especially in the summertime. Last but not least, this is the most important step of your routine and is the SPF. So this of course is from Hex Beauty. I love this product. It is a small woman owned business. It's local here in Las Vegas. And I just get about that much. I work it in. Look crazy, but make sure a lot of people forget to put it down their neck and on their hands. And when you're driving, you know, your hands will give away your age and so will your neck before your face does. So make sure to get it all in so good. And what's great is this is a mineral sunscreen. So it's perfect for the skin, it's hydrating, and I absolutely, I love it. All right, you know, first things first, we are gonna go in with our P. Louise. This is the base, and the shade is Rumor 0.5. Just gonna go in with a flat brush to put on, and just a little bit, and just push it in. Probably need just a little bit more. How has your summer been so far? So far, mine has been exciting. My best friend came to visit. And if you wanna check out the videos and some of the pictures from when she was here, I have them over on TikTok as well as Instagram. And I'm gonna take a little bit extra of what is already on this brush. I'm just gonna take it down here a little bit. I want to do a pop of color down here, so we're going to want to have this nice and ready to go. I'm just going to use a neutral shade just to set, and I will probably regret this because this is darker than I expected. Oh, actually, I don't regret this anymore. Alright, same thing with the other side. We're gonna go in with the NYX, the brow pencil in cool ash brown. We're just going, just to give a little bit of a fill here, cause my eyebrows for sure could use a fill. Now I used to get my eyes microbladed and I love it and I highly recommend it. The only problem is it is so 
hot here in Vegas and the maintaining of it and the upkeep was just maintenance on it was just a lot for me but I do highly recommend it especially if you can find somebody in your town that has amazing reviews or somebody you know has been to them okay so see how just a little bit of a brow pencil filling in your brows makes all the world a difference perfect now for this look that we're going to be doing today we're going to be going in with the Jaclyn Hill Ex Morphe palette while I'm not a fan of Jaclyn Hill these days I do love this palette I do love the colors if you guys have any suggestions for me on a similar palette with the same type of colors I'm here for it so please drop a comment below and also while you're there commenting be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified when I drop a video we're gonna go in with a very super fluffy brush we're gonna go in with a taupey but orangey shade we're gonna put it right there in that crease because we want more of a neutral shade up top and if you guys are loving this look we can always do a nighttime with this look as well if you want to if you want me to show you how to smoke it out a little bit more and take the look from day to night now again going in with that same brush we're going to go in with more of an orangey shade just pop that in there all right now i'm going to take just another it's more of a flat brush but we're going to go in with a little bit of a more red taupey shade, I guess. I'm not really sure what we would call that, but we're gonna put more of that in this outer corner. So I know for some reason the camera is picking up that it is orange, but I promise you all, I will show you all what this will look like in natural lighting. So here, let me take this light off and kind of show you guys just a little bit of how it's not so orange. So now going in with more of a light shimmery shade, we're going to just pop it right in here. Just take that over. Just so the whole, the whole lid doesn't look just one straight color. So I'm excited I get to see my parents here in a few weeks. Probably when this video drops, I'll already be there in Tulsa. I love going and visiting them there. I love, I love Oklahoma. It's probably one of my favorite states. Now, of course, going back in with our super fluffy brush, whatever is left on the brush, just use that and just blend it out so we're not having any harsh lines. Now, of course, we're gonna take this into the inner corner here just opening up and highlighting that beautiful inner corner. And of course we will take just a little bit of it, just highlight the under eye here just ever so slightly. We don't wanna look like a completely glazed donut. And then if it's a little too much, just take a brush that has whatever residual color it has on it and that way you can tone it down just a little bit. Now I'm choosing to do more of a teal aqua color today. We're gonna take a brush like this. It's real tight, dense. We're gonna go in with this teal, beautiful teal shade here. And we're just gonna pop it on this lower lash line. Just giving us a beautiful summer color. All right, so of course, fold it up. Take it right here and then just pull down. Same over here. And just clean it up. I'm just gonna keep this down here, do a little bit deeper of a color, really pack it in. So now I've been asked to do, I've been asked to do more ghost stories. So what do you guys think? Some get ready with me with ghost stories attached. What do you think? 
Is that not your jam? All right, so I think this looks great. We're gonna put a little bit more eye cream since I did wipe some of it off. You guys know I love my Chanel bronzer. So we're gonna go in with that bad boy with a stiff brush. Now I had a really bad experience at the Chanel counter and the Neiman at the Neiman Marcus inside Fashion Show Mall. My best friend and I were were looking around. I was showing her this product and the different colors because I have mine a little bit darker. And she's a little bit more fair than I am. And it was like these ladies thought that we were gonna steal disgusting trial or not try it like the testers that's the word for it testers as if we were gonna steal the testers and it's like first off my best friend Tiffany had $500 extensions that she had just bought and what about us just because it's laundry day and I was not maybe dressed to the nines the tens whatever like you're gonna treat us like this so it was frustrating and I ended up going to Dillard's and ended up spending $130 on a pair of shorts so hopefully those ladies at the Chanel counter did not work on commission because it reminds me of pretty woman do you work on commission big mistake all right you know we got to clean up the lashes too because I forgot that step I was so excited about this pop of color here I completely forgot I needed to clean my lashes up. I think I have a mascara that I can try from this sample bag. Let's see. Oh yes, the one size mascara. So I want to try that and see how it holds up since I only use mascara on my bottom lashes. I want to see how well this holds up because a lot of times the mascara just, it runs, it doesn't look good. Um, this is called the Fantasize from One Size. Alright, so this is what the brush looks like. I like how big it is. Now, obviously, I can't give a full review of what it's like on the entire eye since I do not wear mascara up top. But I can definitely give you one down below. So far, I'm really liking it. It's very easy to apply. I do like this big brush. However, it doesn't seem like it gets a lot of product, but I'm also only doing it on the bottom lashes, so that might be it. Ooh, I'm really liking this. So another thing that I've been obsessed with is the Wayne Goss the bronzing and contour palette. I have been loving this. I'm just gonna take a brush like this, just rub it all over. We're gonna use the Hourglass. This is the uh, Dim Infusion Ambient Lighting Blush. It is beautiful and baked and that is coming back. We're just gonna use a brush like this and just Because it's baked and it has a nice sheer shimmer to it, we're not going to do any highlighting today. We don't need to do that. So what we are going to do is we're going to use the Seat London Watermelon Burst Setting Spray. It does smell really good. It smells like a light watermelon candy kind of smell. We are going to try the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. This is in Pink Punch. I just want to see what this would look like with this look. Because we don't want anything heavy. We just want something more summery, light, because we want the eyes to do the talking for this look. See if my lips get any plumper. <laughs> I actually like this. It's not as bright of a color as you'd think on your lips, but... It's, it's definitely nice and gives a nice sheer to go with this look. So this is more of just the studio lighting without having my mirror light. 
This is, of course, with the mirror light, just so you can see the different ways that this makeup look looks. But I'm going to go outside and show you guys what it looks like in natural lighting. I do love this pop of color. So tell me what you guys think in the comments below. And we'll check back in and see how the mascara wears down. And yeah, be sure to subscribe to my channel, guys. Alright guys, I am back. It is the end of the night for me. It is 9.22 p.m. So... Okay, so I'm on my way to my hair appointment. Here is the look in natural light. As you can see, it is not so bad. It's not so bright. You can see all my freckles though because they come out so much more in the summertime here. But I'm loving this look and I'm for sure feeling myself today, so... I do love the way this look has settled down into my skin. It definitely still looks really pretty. It did settle a little bit into my creases of my eyes and it did settle a little bit down here, but it almost looks really just pretty and grungy a little bit, I think. And the mascara did flake off a little bit. You can see down here. But overall, I do love it because it did not stick to my lashes. And I went and got my hair done. So, you know, your girl is feeling great. And I had such a wonderful day today. Got to hang out with my friend Alyssa. And she cooked us the most amazing dinner. So I'm so thankful for wonderful friends like Alyssa. And yeah, like I... For sure, I'm going to be doing this look again. Maybe not so much shimmer because the way it seems to have settled into the crease of my eye. However, I'm going to maybe try this with a different color. Maybe even do uh, a colored liner and then pack the powder on top of it. So that way it has more staying power. However, I definitely love it. Definitely feeling myself, as you can see, the bronzer did wear down beautifully, might I add. So I am, I am loving this look for sure. And I hope you guys loved it too. And if you liked it, leave a comment, thumbs up. Those things help me grow here on YouTube. Helps me out so much. And you know I appreciate you guys. So be sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave. And I will see you in the next video. But if you made it this far, roll those blooper reels. What outside smells like. Well, Bob, you'd be in here if you weren't being such a jerk. I do love the way this look just settled down. There was my phone.